Well, hello and welcome to a very special race here today. We have some marvellous machines down on the grid that in just a few moments will be accelerating up to some really high speeds indeed to compete for a prestigious Grand Prix victory. We're racing today then in Travis County, Texas, where 20 corners and speeds of up to 200 miles an hour await us on this magnificent racetrack. It's 60% full throttle with plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into turn one and at the end of the long back straight into turn 12. What a race we have in store today. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask Anthony Davidson what you expect to see in terms of strategy today. I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management, a lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual, if I'm honest. What I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. It's a steep incline into Turn 1 that'll help you scrub speed off. There are multiple lines, so be sure to make use of them. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Rosberg, Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel.
Another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here, as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes, then, are on top today. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. Lewis. After this round of the World Championship, 